China's foreign minister has criticized the U.S. for suppressing China. Speaking to the press on the sidelines of the National People's Congress, Wang Yi accused the United States, without mentioning it by name, of stirring up trouble in Taiwan. He also defended Beijing's close relationship with Moscow, saying that China and Russia are setting a new paradigm in relations between big powers, a completely different one from the old Cold War era. Journalist Fabian Kretschmer is following the ongoing National People's Congress in Beijing and joins me now for more. Fabian, Wang Yi there talking of a new paradigm of relations with Russia. What does he mean by that? What he said is that China and Russia now are at a quote-unquote historic friendship and this friendship has created a new paradigm of country-to-country -country relations, a paradigm that is based upon non-alignment, non-confrontation and not targeting any third party. And I'm quoting here. Of course, you might argue how credible is such a statement given that this, in this very moment Russia is continuing with its full-scale war against Ukraine. But nevertheless, let me give you an explanation of what I think what uh, Wang Yi and the Chinese government means by the statement in the eyes of Beijing um the U.S. is pushing for a Cold War approach and um, is continuing with a, a kind of block building and uh, China is pursuing a more um, multipolar world order. Of course, uh, critics and also independent exports are, are arguing that actually what uh, China is aiming for is that uh, the hegemony of the West, uh, as led by the U.S., then will be replaced by the new world power, uh, China. Um, so I think that would be my interpretation of uh, Wang Yi's statement from this morning. China has also, in fact, increased business with Russia, including purchasing fossil fuels since the start of the Ukraine war. Is this war benefiting China? Well, I think to really comprehensively answer that question, we have to look in retrospect in a historic way because there are so many tectonic geopolitical shifts and uh, long-lasting uh, effects that um, I think uh, we can only see in a couple of years. But if you ask directly in an economic way, uh, China definitely is filling up the vacuum um, that you know many Western companies who uh, left Russia, um, uh, th that they have left. So, for example, um, uh, China is now uh, ex uh, importing a lot of oil um, to very cheap and Discount prices and it's ex exporting to Russia a lot of consumer electronics, cars, etc. And if you only look at the bilateral tr uh, trade volume, it has increased uh, by more than 26% last year. So definitely in that way, uh, China is benefiting uh, from the war. But um, of course, the long lasting effects we don't know yet. But let me just briefly add that um, in this new partnership between China and uh, um, Russia, China is definitely more, uh, definitely more powerful and uh, Russia is increasingly depending. Um, on China, definitely in terms of uh, the economy. At the same time, speaking of the economy, the Chinese economy is in need of foreign investment. Can it get that investment while edging closer to Russia economically and strategically? That is really a crucial question. Um, to be honest, I'm quite skeptical that um, the uh, businesses and investors are looking so directly um, towards China's uh, Russia policy. I think what really prevents investors, Western investors, from um, yeah, in putting their money into the Chinese market is the um, business environment that has become very uh, unpredictable and uh, not very friendly towards uh, pri uh, the private economy. And uh, secondly, yes, you can argue that indirectly after the Russian war in Ukraine that um, people are more aware of the risks that maybe something similar could happen, that, for example, China could invade Taiwan. I think this awareness has increased. Uh, so right. indirectly, yes, it has some effects. But don't forget that on the global scale, um, uh, China has a lot of uh, big economies that it can trade with, like, um, for example, India. Um, or Brazil, who actually have quite a similar stance uh, towards mm -hmm. Russia. We'll leave it there. Fabian Kretschmer in Beijing, thanks so much for joining us.